Sussex's blasted over irreparable damage caused two troubled years branded as thorn in royal side. Prince Harry and his brother Prince William had an argument about Meghan Markle which caused irreparable damage, an expert claimed in unearthed accounts. The Duke of Sussex looks set to return to the UK with Netflix cameras as he is reportedly planning on making a documentary about the Invictus Games. He remains passionate about the Invictus Games which he established in 2013 after witnessing the US's similar warrior games for veterans with physical and mental disabilities. It would represent yet another independent project he and his wife the Duchess of Sussex have taken on since leaving royal duties behind in 2020. However, Harry and Meghan's determination to do things their way hasn't always gone down well with other royals, including Harry's brother Prince William. In another documentary, titled Meghan and Harry, Two Troubled Years, experts explain how the relationship between the Sussexes and the Cambridges broke down. This included analysis of a tense conversation Harry and William had over the pace of which the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's relationship progressed early on. Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal expert, said, One of the things that unquestionably adversely affected the relations between Harry and William, who were so close for so many years, was a series of rumors after the wedding. William expressed doubts to Harry as to whether or not he was too quick in being engaged to Meghan. Camilla Tomini added, there was a brotherly discussion which I think was voiced out of concern from William but was misinterpreted as a lack of support. Things were said and done in the run-up to the wedding that both sides regret, but had caused irreparable damage. The tension between the Sussexes and the Cambridges meant that royal family hopes that the couple could form the Fab Four were swiftly ruled out. Daisy McAndrew, a journalist and broadcaster, spoke about the row. She said, they looked amazing. They were all similar ages and they all had what looked like a common purpose to make the royal family younger, more modern, more diverse, more approachable, more empathetic. All of those things worked very well for a brief period and then the cracks started to show. Mr. Fitzwilliams put it more bluntly, the so-called Fab Four dream disintegrated step by step. The documentary showed one scene from the event when the two couples were asked how they resolved their disputes. Harry quipped in reply I don't remember, they, disagreements come so thick and fast, the comment was then greeted with laughter. Recent tension between the two royal brothers has been sparked by Harry's announcement that he will publish his memoir next year. Announcing his deal with publishers Penguin Random House, Harry said he would reflect the highs and lows and be accurate and wholly truthful. The Duke said in a statement, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Recent reports claimed William and his father Prince Charles were shaken by the announcement. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have made several explosive claims about the treatment they received from the royal family since officially stepping down as working royals in March. The Duke of Sussex attracted scrutiny over some of his allegations, including suggestions that Prince Charles had cut him off financially shortly after announcing plans to relocate his family to the U.S. But the publication of the yearly breakdown of royal accounts sparked out over the claims, with the royal couple now being accused of damaging the monarchy. Senior reporter Benjamin Butterworth also noted the account's publication diminished the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's bid to show their commitment to repay taxpayers for covering the renovation costs of their Windsor home, Frogmore Cottage. Mr. Butterworth said, They made this big controversy over Frogmore Cottage and the fact that we paid the best part of £2 million. And they said, Oh, we've paid it off. And I thought, Well, good for you, that's the dignified thing to do. But if you've got £3 million from Daddy, of course, they paid it off. It wouldn't even have cost them a penny. In March's interview with talk show host Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry claimed Prince Charles had cut him off financially early in 2020. The spokesman said, as we all remember in January 2020 when the Duke and Duchess announced that they were going to move away from the working royal family, the Duke said that they would work towards becoming financially independent. The Prince of Wales allocated a substantial sum to support them with this transition. That funding ceased in the summer of last year. The couple are now financially independent. Here.